In the following video, we're going to examine how to describe and graph dilations. And remember, when we're dealing with dilations, we are dealing with the following characteristics. If your a value, the, what is being multiplied by to the function, is greater than 1, it's going to stretch vertically. If the size of a is between 0 and 1, it's going to compress vertically. And so those are vertical dilations. We also have our horizontal dilations. So above this line, we see vertical. It's based off of the size of A. Below this line, we see if we actually have a coefficient attached to the X. And so we see our A is outside, and our B is the coefficient of the X. It's paired up with it inside the grouping symbols or parentheses. Then it's horizontal. If A is large, the size of A is large, then it's going to compress horizontally. If the size of A is small between 0 and 1, it's going to expand horizontally. So if we take a look, again, let's look at our general form for transformations for an absolute value y equals A times the absolute value of x minus h plus k. h and k are the horizontal and vertical translations. We're not focusing on that. We're focusing on just the dilations, which is based off your a value. So if I see y equals a times the absolute value of x, I see my a is 1 half. Now a is between 0 and 1 here, and so that means my graph compresses vertically. And so what we're going to do is we are going to graph the parent function first, so the absolute value of x, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, negative 1, 1, negative 2, 2, and negative 3, 3. And we'll use our dashed line for this. Now I'm telling you the graph is going to be compressed vertically. That means imagine it being pushed down. If you were to push these down, they would slowly rise. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of apply the idea of the shortcut we learned with graphing the absolute values is we can look at that one half as being a slope on the right hand side. And so we go up one to the right two, up one to the right two, up one to the right two. And then if I reflect it over this y axis, up one left two to get that V shape, up one left two, up one left two. And let's use a solid line. And again, I'll change the color. So that way we can see the difference between our parent function and our dilation, our transformation. And so if we take a look, we see it is compressed vertically. It looks like it's smashed down. And that's what compressed vertically means. And so we see it's a slower increase on the graph. And so that is our dilation of an absolute value where we have an A value. So we're going to look at, in the next one, a quadratic function, where this time we have a B value. If I take a look, I see my coefficient 2 for this one, we have an absolute value, is paired up with the X. So this time I'm looking at B. So this is an absolute value. We have y equals, we don't have our a, so we have b, x, and we don't have our h or k. And so our b here is 2. And so that size is large. And so that means this graph is going to compress horizontally. And so if we draw the original, absolute value of 0, 0. 1 is 1, 2 is 2, 3 is 3, and so on. Negative 1, 1, negative 2, 2, negative 3, 3. After all of these videos, you should easily be able to graph your parent functions for these. Since we've been doing them for multiple times. And so there's our parent function. And so now what we do is we kind of graph our dilation using the idea of slope again. It's going to compress horizontally. So imagine these being smashed in from the left and from the right. No, zero, zero, 
no, two, so I'm going to go up two, right one, up two, right one, up two, right one, and follow the pattern on the left of the y axis, up two, left one, up two, left one, up two, left one, and graph with your line. And so now we see our dilation. We have here, change the color, a graph that looks like it is compressed. It is smashed in from the left side from the right side to compress it horizontally. And that's because our B value was greater than one for this. So please look over the chart for dilations. The rules go the same for quadratics when we're doing this. The A value, what is the coefficient outside the grouping symbol, deals with stretching vertically or compressing vertically based off its size. The B value, which is the coefficient inside the grouping symbol, is your horizontal dilation, either compressing or expanding horizontally based off of the size.